Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. First, let me apologize if you're still getting my demo mode. I apologize, it will be removed very soon. Just haven't had a lot of chance yet to uh, get a legit license of the recording software called ScreenFlow. Okay, in this video on Mac OS X, um, I'm gonna show you how to properly uh, install MySQL on a Mac, okay? Um, first, let me just uh, point out some stuff. Uh, on my blog here on this posting, uh, you will find uh, two, two different ways to do it. Being the bonehead that I can sometimes be, do not use uh, after download the SQL, uh, I'm sorry, all this brew stuff, brew install, brew install. Uh, that's good for uh, Linux, specifically Ubuntu. But um, there is a better way. The recommended way is right here. Now, uh, sometimes we like to complicate our lives. So I would recommend you to use this link here to get you started. It's pretty straightforward, actually. And uh, what we're going to do is, uh, as you can see, is numerous uh, choices but this is the recommended way by just going right to the uh, mysql um, source of uh, the url mysql.com and download it from there uh, and in there if you are using mac make sure you use the dmg archive right here so walk you through it there's numerous choices in here but make sure you use this dmg all right, so once you double click and all that fun stuff, uh, you can somewhat install it. But as it says here in the terminal, you, you can launch MySQL this way in the terminal via here, but uh, you want life to be easier. So what you can do is uh, you need to modify your uh, bash profile. So uh, for those that may not know Linux or Linux-like stuff, when you uh, open up your terminal, uh, you will need to uh, move into your uh, home directory. This will do it right here, CD, and modify this file, okay? Uh, so in my case, this I'm gonna use nano instead of vi. And uh, basically, this is what we got. So this is this path is needed for Python, and then this path is used for uh, the current path, the existing path on the system, as well as my local uh, where MySQL can be found. Okay, and um, if you have any difficulties there, I've got another URL. This one right here. If you're not familiar with path paths and all that fun stuff. This little link here uh, at uh, Cool Guides on the Planet. Uh, let me just get to that link. And uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, just follow these instructions. Um, you know, this is pretty well default what you would have in a Mac OS X install out of box. And um, we're just adding this line to that um, user profile I just showed you. Okay, this is the nano exactly as here, okay? And that link I just gave you will walk you out of uh, that uh, problem or out of that, uh, let me just uh, exit. Oh, I'm always getting confused here between Windows and Mac keyboards. Okay, so we can exit that. So in order to make sure, just exit out of this terminal, relaunch a new one. What you what you're pretty well looking for is when you exit out the path exactly as here, you want to make sure that you've got your uh, MySQL bin. Uh, my you user local MySQL bin. Now, for those that don't know and want to use the brew install, as I hinted here, 
not recommend it, okay? Uh, because now you're trying to take the the Linux approach will not work on El Capitan OS 10 because really to, to set up a uh, root access on the OS 10 with El Capitan is not wise because uh, it has all kinds of layered security, uh, one called SIP. And you don't want to really mess with that in case the system does get hacked. And uh, it's just that extra added security that you get with OS 10 versus shall I, shall we say it together? Mmm, Windows. Okay. Um, so we got all that funky stuff working. So in a, in a, in a uh, terminal session, what you want to do here is ensure that you run this MySQL secure installation script. That will walk you to set up a root password and all the other default stuff. I've never seen, I've, I've run both Windows and Linux security. Uh, and I'm going to tell you, again, mm, Mac OS X is way more secure, it seems, than even Linux. Dare I say that? Ooh, probably. Uh oh, I just said that. I've been making an enemy now. So, once you get that working, we have, guess what? My SQL, no different than uh, uh, on uh, a Linux environment. But you can see here, you can run with user, uh, root user, and my highly secure uh, root password, hello123. Now, this is just a test. Test one, two. We are in the uh, shell for MySQL. All good. Now, next step, we want to install our uh, workbench. That's so simple, as usual. You just download it um, from that link I just gave you here. And guess what? You can download it. So lickety split. Between a Mac OS X and having the extra security Linux-like uh, shells, uh, it's quite good. I will be the first to admit that. Okay, so knowing we have the whoop, the MySQL uh, workbench, which will get installed by default, we have our workbench here, and we can do all our funky stuff that you'd normally do either on Windows or uh, on uh, Linux. So... We're all good, but if you ask me, again, I'm not going to sit here and preach to everybody, but you know my answer. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty well it. A fairly straightforward um, SQL, uh, sorry, uh, MySQL um, install on a Mac. Um, again, I'm not going to go on over uh, with uh, how to do it on uh, Linux, because there's so many distributions as well as Windows, but... It's pretty simple on a Mac. Okay, so that's it. Um, before I continue, as I said, right at the top here of this script, what you'll find, or this uh, posting, is my SQL code, or my SQL file for my uh, trading system, uh, which is a SQL file, and um, you got to be a, um, a uh, Quant Leap member to, to get access to it. So uh, once you get that file, I'll show you the next step on how to import and probably make some modifications. And hopefully we have ourselves a killer database for starting up with uh, uh, this trading system that I'm working on. And just so you know, where we're going with this is if you come under my YouTube Quant Labs um, YouTube channel, come under here under my playlist, what you'll find here is a little, uh, a little uh, playlist here called AK Trading System. This will walk you right through the older system that I originally wrote a year ago. But as I said, I'm converting all this code into C++. Everything pretty well. Hopefully, the features will be the same. But um, what's going to be different is it's going to be in C++ and will be posted on my Quant uh, Elite Member section as well. Okay. So if you want to understand uh, this system, please uh, go here to get more info. All right, this is about a year old. Later.